that's completely different from the other mosque I visited. Can you tell me a story? Who owned mosques are by Mount Hanai? What mosque were you at? Uh, I think it was called the uh, Nostra Edmund Colon, something like that. Ah, uh, yeah. This, uh, um, well, yeah. Good luck here at his father's mosque now. Let me tell you the stories, maybe you can get some answers. Marcello! Mamma mia, Ricardo! Long time no see, my friend! Long time indeed, brother! Yeah, man! What are you doing? Well, I'm actually writing a script for a film I'm working on. A film, huh? Yeah. What's it about? Well, it's about the influence of historical buildings. And I'm most likely going to be writing about the English House of Parliament. Really, bro? Yeah. House of Parliament? Yeah, what do you think? That's hella boring. Uh, I, I actually saw that coming. Do you have any better ideas then? Yeah, I do, actually. Like what? If you're gonna talk about history, uh, historical buildings, yeah. how about you write about Egypt's mm -hmm. Mosque of Kalawun and the Sun's Mosque, Ibn Kalawun. Wait, there's two? Yeah, man. Well, well that's really interesting. But well, what can you tell me about them? <laughs> you're in for a treat. Let's go. Alrighty then, let's get started. This mosque was built by Il Sultan Seyfeldin Qalawun. His name literally translates to Sword of the Faith. Whoa, cool name. It was built for the purpose to pray? Uh, no. Okay. I mean, yes, technically it was built for praying, but it's, just, it's not just that. It wasn't just a mosque. It was a library, a hospital a school, and even a trading center. It was truly built for the people. Well, this is getting interesting. Yeah, it is. And you know what? It's still functional to this day. Oh, really? Yeah. The hospital, for example, it's still open and treating people every single day. Whoa. When was it built? 1283. And can you believe it only took them one year to finish building it? You can literally see how its incredible architecture still stands out until this day. And the tomb. Oh, the tomb. It lies in the center of the mosque. And it, it is magnificent, truly. The second greatest tomb in the world. After, of course, Taj Mahal's. Well, that's the greatest piece of art I've ever seen. I know, right? Yeah, so oh, wait, wait, tell me about the, the, the second most, those two. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah? The icing on the cake. Uh-huh. The contrast. Okay. The, the great mosque of the victorious Muhammad ibn Khalawun. Oh, that sounds interesting. Or is it? Even though it has undeniable architecture and amazing Islamic art, the mosque, unfortunately, is but forgotten barely used nowadays by anyone. What was he trying to accomplish back then? Is it the greater good of the people like his father? Not exactly. It was primarily built to glorify Muhammad ibn Qalawun's name, unlike his father who wanted to create facilities for his people. And to make matters worse, <laughs> it was often overshadowed by the great citadel of Cairo. Uh. So the most for the people still lives for the people. But the most for glory actually died of its name holder. Uh, well, well that's, that makes for a pretty good drama. Yes, it does. So you're right about it? Yeah, I think it's definitely a worthy idea. Uh, you need a name for sure. But something that stands out, something uh, vibrant. Yeah, about that, I was actually thinking something like Arab heritage. Mmm, mamma mia! Right? That's a spicy name right there. Isn't it? Yeah, man. Yeah, Hell I, yeah. I'd say it's pretty good. Yeah. yeah Hella good. <laughs>